Hi everyone, it's Steph from Steph Lee Films. So you pull a microphone into the A10 Mini Pro, set up your camera to record video, hit the stream button and what? The video and audio is out of sync and it's giving you a headache. Welcome back to another topic on the A10 Mini Pro. I believe most of you are here because of the title, right? Why have I taken this long to create this video? Let me explain. I've spent the last few weeks since getting my A10 Mini Pro, doing numerous tests, researching online, watching other YouTubers talk about audio video latency, speaking to my industry peers who face this same problem, as well as having a few good chats with you viewers from this channel to find out more in detail so I can crack my brain and think of solutions. You guys know who you are. So in this video, I will talk about how to fix the audio video sync lag on the A10 Mini Pro. Before I swipe the screen and jump into the video, here's a quick disclaimer. This list of solutions that I've come up with is not exhaustive as different people have different problems during streaming and there are many permutations that can create this latency problem. I have carefully curated the solutions and if none of them solves your problem right away, I hope something that I have talked about in this video gives you an eureka moment and discover an alternative way to change your setup to resolve this irritating lip sync error problem. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Imagine watching an online performance or televised live speaker talking and the voice and mouth movements do not match and after some time, it gets pretty difficult to continue watching, right? Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Steph from Steph Lee Films. Today we're going to talk about two cameras. This person moving his or her mouth when there is no spoken dialogue to accompany it results in the term lip sync error. The resulting audio video sync error can be annoying to the viewer and it may even cause the viewer to not enjoy the program, decrease the effectiveness of the program, or lead to a negative perception of the speaker on the part of the viewer. To make things simple to understand, let me do a simple drawing to illustrate and explain what causes this audio video sync error. I won't try to get too technical here, it's just to give you an idea of why there's this video audio lag thing going on. Okay, so this is a video packet which contains images, graphics, content, lots of information and therefore is very heavy and slow moving. On the other hand, a sound packet consists of less information and generally moves much faster. Hence, when you try to output them, the video packet will arrive slower than the sound packet hence causing the delay. Another explanation is, to stream these videos, you need to convert them into codecs and different cameras process the video signals differently. So in a live streaming situation, the camera records the video, takes some time, we're talking about milliseconds here, to convert to the correct signal before passing them out to the A10 Mini Pro. In short, when you shoot something from your camera, it takes a short processing time before sending it out. So, in a live streaming situation, while the video is being converted, the sound packet has already moved off, hence resulting in a delay. With the above two explanations for an audio video delay, you do realize that this whole delay thing has got nothing to do with your A10 Mini Pro, right? Yes, any capturing device will possibly face such problems. It is just the way technology works, and my purpose is to find out ways to resolve such problems for you. So to help me, help you, and help everyone who came to this video or to my channel, do keep those comments coming in and at the same time, hit that subscribe button. First up, check your upload speed. Upload speed is how fast you send data from yourself to others on the internet. So for live streaming, this is super important and you can check your internet upload speed at the website speedtest.net. From the upload speed, we will be able to calculate the recommended bitrate to stream at, which is usually half your upload speed. So for my example, the upload speed that I've just tested is 5 megabits per second. So the maximum bitrate that I should be streaming at is probably 2.5 megabits per second. Looking at the streaming options of the A10 Mini Pro, it is recommended that I stream at this particular setting. So now I will explain what is the difference between resolution and bitrate. Simply to put, resolution is the size of your canvas while bitrate is how much data is there on the canvas. So for example, you can have a 1920 by 1080 resolution stream but a low bitrate which does not look very good or you can have a 640 by 360 resolution stream at the same low bitrate. 
Yes, your canvas size may be smaller as you can see, but the video is much sharper because the small amount of data is filling up a smaller canvas. Ultimately, you have to find the balance between upload speed, resolution, and the bitrate to make sure your stream is optimal and has no problems. Remember the illustration I made earlier? One of the ways to solve this problem is to use the AFV Audio Follows Video option on the A10 Mini Pro. This means that you're using audio from the camera that you are shooting. So what happens is your camera processor puts both the video and audio in the same packet and sends them out together like a package. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but most of the time it isn't very ideal because the microphone on the camera isn't that great. So if you are doing just a talk show or some speeches, I think it's fine, but if you are live streaming a concert or something that requires better audio like someone singing, then the audio quality from your camera isn't going to make it. The next thing to check is if your connection is by Wi-Fi. Try not to use Wi-Fi for your stream. Why is this so? Okay, firstly, for streaming, you will want your stream to be as smooth and consistent as possible, not to be littered with buffering, glitches, lags, etc. So how many times have you lost connection on your laptop or mobile phone that is connected to your home Wi-Fi and find it working a couple of seconds later? So in the world of streaming, this means a potential video or audio sync lag. There are so many reasons for Wi-Fi problems, for example, distance between your laptop and the router modem, interference that disrupts your Wi-Fi signals like phones, monitors, wireless security cameras, Bluetooth devices, or even other Wi-Fi signals from other routers, modems in your neighborhood estate. These are all potential problems of streaming on Wi-Fi, so I definitely do not recommend that. Instead, use a hardwired Ethernet connection. Next is to check your computer specs for live streaming. Typically, a recommended setup is to have a computer that has at least an i7 processor and 16GB of RAM. Also, before you start your live stream, it is a good habit to restart your computer to clear up the memory cache and not open any programs after you have restarted your computer. This is to ensure that the computer's RAM is fully dedicated to handling the live stream applications. The next tip is to stream at your native resolution. A quick recap here on how you can find out what are the resolution settings on the A10 Mini Pro. You can find out how I did it here in one of my videos here in this link. On the Mac OS, go search for this address. And on Windows, go search for this. When you find the file streaming.xml, click on text edit and you can see the resolution and the bitrate for the respective streaming platform. So for YouTube, if I want to stream at the lowest settings, it will be 1080p 30 frames second at 3 megabits per second. This sounds pretty alright. For those who find a little difficult to navigate to the XML file, don't worry, I have compiled them and listed them in the description below so you can just refer it to there. The A10 Mini Pro has a scaling function, which means that whatever resolution your camera is shooting at, for example 4K, and in your stream you chose 1080p, the A10 Mini Pro will automatically downscale the 4K input to 1080p. My recommendation here is to set your camera to shoot at the same resolution as your streaming resolution, which means that if you want to stream at 1080p, set your camera to shoot at 1080p. Also. Select the lowest bitrate option on your camera setting. It is usually together with your resolution selection. Lowering the bitrate output from the camera gives the ADAM Mini Pro less data to process, which could possibly help reduce any audio video lag. Okay, the next tip is a feedback from a fellow professional who contacted me after she found me on YouTube giving these ADAM Mini Pro tutorials. Yes, that's you. Big shout out to Miss Lu, who is an amazing singer, songwriter, entrepreneur and a fellow Singaporean as well. Do check out her channel in the link I will provide below. She sings live every week on her channel. So after the circuit breaker was enforced here in Singapore, she started her live streaming in a new weekly concert series which she streams live from her living room. So at the start of a new project, she faced serious audio video sync problems and Blackmagic Design Singapore was so kind to reach out to her and loan her some BMP CC cameras and her sync problems were gone. I mean, I see where this is coming from. Ultimately, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras and the ATEM Mini Pro are from the same company, right? So technically, there shouldn't be any sync issue. 
Again, this is a feedback from a testimonial. So I haven't tested this out in person. If Blackmagic Design Singapore can loan me a few cameras to test this out, it would be great. If not, I'll have to wait until the end of the circuit breaker to try to find a few of these to test them out and let you know the results. Okay, the last tip is when everything else fails. I mean like when you've tried all the above solutions they have given and nothing seems to work. Somehow your audio video still has that sync delay. So now we're going to accept that, okay, fine, you win, there is a delay. So what we can do? What we can do is to delay the sound packet to match the video packet arriving to the A10 Mini Pro. So how do we do that? You can get an audio mixer that has the delay option. You can find these on Amazon ranging from $40 to $500 or more. The expensive mixers give you a whole range of DJ mixing capabilities, but what we are really looking at is the ability to delay the sound coming into the mixer and going out of it. So for myself, I use a cheaper $40 model, the Moose Lady AI4, where I connect the XLR cable from my microphone into the mixer and an RCA to 3.5mm adapter cable out into my A10 Mini Pro. So during live stream, I try to watch the stream and tune the knob to delay the audio to match the video. Okay, now you have seen all the solutions, you might be thinking, come on Steph, you should have just recommended the last option which is the audio mixer option and that's it, problem solved. The reason why I put this as the last tip is because it involves spending extra money on a device that to me it really does very little because the 5 solutions I gave earlier in this video should probably have solved your problem by now. Because the 5 solutions would have solved your root problem whereas I feel that getting this device to delay the sound packet and making it arrive in time with the audio is sort of just fixing the problem on the surface but again I said it is the last resort, it is the last tip so if the above 5 solutions don't work then probably this will be the solution to your problem. Also, introducing an extra device into your simple and basic setup of the A10 Mini Pro may potentially cause more problems than fixing them you may get problems, new problems that you have no idea where they came from. So there you have it. I hope this video will be able to solve your audio video sync delay problems. And if it still doesn't, please describe and put them in the comments below so I can compile them and maybe release a version 2 of this video sometime later in the year that tackles these problems. So far, through the implementation of the circuit breaker in Singapore and various lockdown measures in other countries around the world, I have discovered new users of live streaming and I must say that this whole new experience have allowed people to get creative and think of ways to keep their businesses or services sustainable by going online. Many aspects of the creative industry has gone live as well and in my industry, Wedding platforms have taken their businesses online as well as makeup artists teaching some online basic courses. For myself, corporate clients have requested for more live broadcasts of their seminars and I've got enquiries from some local churches on how to bring their Sunday church services online as well. I've always tried to keep a positive mindset in any dire situation and perhaps this worldwide pandemic has opened up a new Pandora's box on the future of live streaming. If you're here watching my videos, be sure to stay at the front of the wave so you will always be ahead. Before I end this video, I would like to say that it really means a lot to me if you have found the information that I've shared in this video useful and if you can give this video a like so that it encourages me to continue making such videos for you. Better still, share it with your friends. If you want to learn more about photography and videography on this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. And as always, if you have any questions, please let me know.